All right, uh, my name is Mike Garrett. I'm a lieutenant with Skokie Fire Department, Skokie, Illinois. I'm here with our newest apparatus, starting in the cab. Uh, we went with the X12 Cummins power plant. Um, standard fare for the uh, driver. Uh, 40 amp Kuzmal, upgraded uh, platform for the display. Um, added the two fans, works out really nice. I know it looks old school and it does uh, serve a purpose when the windshield can't keep up with the hot bodies inside. Moving right along, we've got the uh, half door cabinet here for EMS and or gear. You can throw your gear in there. Uh, we've got a sweep out compartment in here, so any kind of debris that goes in there it is not open to the interior of the cab. So if you do decide to use it for uh, turnout gear, it's separated from the interior compartments. Also a nice little feature here, we have this mirror, aids the back step crew from uh, stepping out into traffic. He can get a look in that mirror, see what might be coming down the pike for him. Inside the cab, we have the second half of that EMS compartment. Uh, it's closed off with the nets. We could store EMS gear. We have both shoreline power and 12 volt power uh, piped into those. They are the same on both the uh, driver's side and the officer's side. Uh, four person cab. Um, usually don't run more than that in our department. Uh, right, right outside here we've got easy access for the back step, obviously on both sides for a quick set of tools for a truck company. Right here we've got the complete cross-section compartment here for some larger um, high-angle rescue equipment. Uh, Arizona Vortex tripod will fit nicely in this compartment for us. If we decide to do that next compartment back here. We've included this extra section of shelf here to um, aid in the storage of items that we may need to come out from either side or at least access stuff here. It gives us another shelf with the slide out tray just below. Um, control compartment in here, we've got uh, just another, I call it kind of a generic storage compartment, but we leave it wide open. Um, we'll go through a couple more here. We've got a nice tool board inside this compartment. This is really great to have for, uh, you know, uh, mounting all tools and we've got storage in the back too if you want to throw some type of cribbing or some other type of uh, equipment that's going to fit back there. We've also got another wide open compartment here. A lot of these compartments that are left wide open, we're actually going to use a company called Redline Works out of Chicagoland area. They're going to help us complete the outfit of this with shelving and bracketry and whatnot. I like to keep the high-vis tape on the open doors so the driver can see it, plus anybody outside working coming around. Series of shelves through here, plenty of compartment storage, uh, separated really nice. We've got slide-out trays in the event that we need them. Utilize that for any type of heavy equipment. We keep it ground level. Again, more storage back here. Compartments are deceivingly deeper than you would imagine when you look at it from the outside. It's very convenient for extra storage space. A uh, safety feature we include on uh, all of our vehicles. It's incorporated with the uh, air brake system, so an impact here doesn't have to be very hard. Automatically triggers the air brakes to engage to stop the vehicle in the event of backing into something that's unseen. Remote controlled monitor up top. Got a combination uh, Smoothbore fog nozzle on there can be converted out to have a stack tip as well. Complements of ladders back here. Um, we carry standard standard truck complement, two thirty-five, three uh, two sections in this complement here. Pike poles, other tool storage, pencil ladder, other items go back here. And then we have this additional storage below can be accessed. Moving right along back here, pretty much mirrors what we saw on the other side. Nice deep compartment for plenty of uh, equipment storage. Again, similar slide out tray, uh, adjustable shelving. Didn't touch on this, but uh, we have some uh, areas in our department and our uh, that are very tight to get in and out of. So the shorter platform of the mid-mount and the all-wheel steering, which is uh, you know, a big plus for this to get into those tight spots. You can really check this out online, see uh, the turning radius that involves the all-wheel steer is pretty similar to what an engine would see. 
Uh, great option to have. Again, we've got the open cabinet still, not a whole lot done in there, as we are going to address that later on. Transverse all the way across. Again, plenty of room for, for bigger items. Similar again, compartment storage. Again, across from, it's completely goes transverse across, added the extra shelf here um, to continue the, the length across. And again, half EMS compartment, not, not through to the other side, not through to the interior of the cabinet. And the upstairs, or the upper part is the uh, interior cabinet. Again, with the mirror here. Again, we got the officer. One of the nice things we have when we do our apparatus is we put a plate on top here for mounting uh, various you know, tick camera, flashlights, maybe possibly a computer, glove boxes, anything you might need up here. Makes for a great mounting surface without having to drill into the insulating padding that's on the engine tunnel. Uh, this has been a tradition of the fire department, Skokie. We've had a bell on every rig since as far back as I can remember. Uh, so we've always included that as a tradition and, you know, just uh, a homage. Lastly, one of the things I'd like to point out is the uh, roto beam light bar. We found for visibility purposes, this gets us a lot more uh, visible on the scene, if you will, due to the wraparound LEDs individually throughout the light bar. Uh, it can be programmed for different options. This is just our basic setup, you know, uh, for on scene when we're parked. And uh, this, uh, that's our walk around of our newest apparatus. I hope you like what you saw. If you have questions, please contact us at Skokie Fire Department. Thank you.